During the month of May, what I want to do is answer the DMs that I've been getting. I get hundreds a day. So I want to answer them in a video format because sometimes the questions are so, they're so detailed that I don't feel like I can answer them just through a DM. So this one says, Sylvester, sometimes I get into unproductive conversations. I want to have more productive conversations. How do you decide who to talk to and who not to talk to? I feel like if I go into it with a game plan of, hey, this is what we're going to talk about, the conversation will have more productivity. What do you think about this? Okay, so, so here's my thing. You know, I can't answer for you. I can only really answer for me. I don't look at my life as productivity. Yes, I'm an entrepreneur, I work, you know, I have fitness goals, I have personal goals, family goals, but my life is not about productivity. My life is not about producing. My life is, a, is really about thinking and feeling, really. Those, those, those two things are way more important than producing because without a connection and an understanding of my thoughts and my feelings, producing doesn't even happen. So to me, the way I look at it is this. I don't need to go into a conversation looking for something either. I don't need to go into it with an expectation. I don't need to go into it with a, hey, this is what we're gonna talk about. For me, it's all about thinking and feeling. So I'm an empath. So as, a, as an empath, I pay attention to how I feel in the conversation. I pay attention to how I feel after the conversation. I pay attention to how I feel leading up to the fact that I know I'm about to speak to you. Because your feelings, they give you information. So I need the information to understand what's going on with my inner world. As long as I understand my inner world, the rest of life is easy. I would say that you need to become a little more intuitive about what you feel when you leave these conversations, when you're in these conversations, and before certain conversations. Now, the last thing I'll tell you is to create a healthy boundary between the people who consistently bring conversations that are not quote unquote productive, as you say, because you're looking to be more productive. Maybe you're looking to you know, finish graduating college or you know, you're working on a movie or working on your book and you need your time, you're working on your fitness. Surround yourself around people who are already aligned with what you're doing because their, their talk and their action is gonna be aligned and then create a healthy boundary with the people who, you know, they're not as productive, you know? And it doesn't mean cut them off, never talk to them again, but hey, you know, maybe, you know, if it's the last semester of college, like I need to focus, dude, you know, I'll, I'll see you in May, you know? Figure out how to create that healthy boundary uh, and just communicate that with compassion.